So just when I was thinking two years into the pandemic seemed pretty long, I realized passing a week with a Nokia A95 felt like forever. Now don't get me wrong, this is a good phone. But anyway, this is me saying my final goodbye to the Nokia A95 and saying hello back to my new iPhone 13 Pro Max. So before saying goodbye to the phone, I did a camera comparison between the Nokia A95 and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And guys, it was so shocking the result which I found. So at the back, it's a 5 megapixel. At the front, it's a 1.2 megapixel. And this is one of the first phones that has rack focus so it's not the one you find on the new um, iPhone 13 Pro Max what this means is basically you can press the button halfway to shoot and then it focuses on the object and then you press downward and then it takes the shot it's nothing compared to what you find on today's smartphone or today's flagship phones however having a device like this 13 years ago was something amazing here was me taking a couple of shots and then i did the same thing again taking the same shots with my iphone 13 pro max and to be honest when i was looking at the results on the screen of the nokia n95 it looked really shitty like i couldn't really even see the screen in sunlight and the quality was really bad but when i got home put this thing on my computer to edit i was surprised by the image quality so playing around with the camera of this phone there was a feature which i really liked which is the ability to zoom into your object using the volume up and zoom out using the volume down this is a feature that i really liked and i wish that um, flagship phones of today would still implement this in their phone but other than that this was one of the phone part that i really had because um during this one week of usage, I could not make phone calls because for some reason it just was not picking up signal. And even when I connected to the home's Wi-Fi, it was just not allowing me to navigate to the Wi-Fi signal. So I couldn't use the Wi-Fi. That is why I had a boring one week. For his device this old, I would expect the device to be very slow in terms of responsiveness. However, a 13 years old device surprised me. This thing is pretty fast compared to what you will find in say the old gen or the first gen of um, iPhone or the first gen of Android devices. It is pretty responsive. But with that being said, still we cannot compare it to today's flagship phones which rocks from 60 to 120 hz refresh rate and some gaming phones even rock up to 144 hertz refresh rates. Let's go straight into the photos and show you the results of what the N95 can actually deliver. Unfortunately, I couldn't find more of the pictures that I took because most of the files got corrupted when I put them in the in the PC. And um, the take on for this video is actually to some of the YouTubers out there, please do try to appreciate the fact that these companies have really tried from the beginning of smartphone era till today. Like they've really tried. Now we have um, HDR and we have 4K. Um, video capability on our smartphone is something I think we should appreciate like for example I know that um, let's say the next tech for smartphones for the next five years I won't be surprised that it's already out but these companies what they do is they try to release them little by little every year and that is business strategy because if they release everything at once on the latest let's say for example iPhone 13 Pro uh, what do you expect them to release next year because if they sell everything all the latest tech 
on one device. Trust me, the next year, no one is going to make an upgrade for their smartphones. This is why tech companies, they have the tech, but they just try to bring them little by little every year because this is how they make money because they need your money and my money to invest into more research. If you enjoy content like this, just make sure you like, subscribe, comment if you have any question about the phone, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.